Welcome to Corner Case, you're in the hobby corner. I'm your host, your brother, your best friend, Deck. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about representation in Infinity the Game. <laughs> While no game and no company are perfect, I do think that Infinity by Corvus Belly actually has been doing quite a good job at representation. I would like to talk solely about my own experience here. One character that is in the game of Infinity is named Tony Makayana. She is a mech pilot, or in the Infinity universe, a tag pilot. She is a total badass, and she just happens to be Filipina. As a Filipino person myself, I can attest that usually there's no representation of us in the media. Our group is not that big. And usually, you know, there, there's, there's representation of other larger Asian groups or Asian groups that have more history of representation, like Chinese people or Japanese people. And usually those are the representations that I, I get from the media. So seeing that there's a Filipino person in this game, that's so cool. The execution was really good because she doesn't even have her own model as, as a person. She, she just has this model that's just her, her mech, her tag, and it looks super cool. So the only way you know she's Filipina is because of her name, one, and the name of her squad, which are the Tik Balang, which is like a Filipino folklore. Think like a, like a horse centaur, but in reverse. That's such a cool representation when usually Asian representation can be like cartoon. You know, like you have your ninja, your samurai, your kung fu man. And the fact that this is just, as a matter of factly, a part of the universe, she just happens to be Filipina, and they don't make any any big fuss about it she just is and only by looking at her name and the name of her squadron you're able to ascertain that info and because of that then you start to contextualize the design of her model you know she has the two swords so then you think oh that's actually like filipino escrima which is the the traditional filipino two knife fighting so i think that subtle and just casual execution of this representation was just so well done so I have to give Corvus Belly credit where it's due, so thank you. And you know, this isn't the only example that they have of this type of representation within their game. You know, they have other characters who represent other cultures that are a part of the same faction. They wear the same uniform, and the only reason you would know what culture they might be from would be from their name. I think that's a really, really classy execution, and it's not common, but Infinity is making it common. So it feels really good, and I think that's really the important part, why, why representation might matter. It just feels good. As an Asian person in America, I can, I can talk a little bit about Forever Foreigner. Forever Foreigner is the name of the concept of maybe I was born here, but to the majority of people, I will always be viewed as a foreigner. This represents itself when I'm asked, and this, ha this has happened as recently as at my last job, a coworker asked me, hey man, your, your English is really good, when did you move here? So it's not, that's not life-threatening type of racism, but that type of thing over time, you know, gives me the feeling of being on the outside. Especially during the pandemic, you can see how a concept like Forever Foreigner may have been exacerbated because of the pandemic. So seeing this casual representation of my culture in a game, within a culture that's predominantly, you know, Euro European, or white, I think is really, really cool to feel included. And I want other people to have that feeling as well. And so that's why I want to put this spotlight on Corvus Belly today and the great job that they're doing within their game. I think that representation can be a very large and unwieldy topic. I think it's a very sensitive matter to approach and it's a very sensitive matter, especially to approach as an individual on the internet. You know, in the future, I would like to create more content along these lines. However, I, I do think and believe that the best way to do that is with a partner. So as we begin to explore this topic and, and highlight more great examples of representation in the hobby, you can expect that that would be with people who can speak from their own experience. This was just my experience, my point of view. Representation feels really good. And to me, that's enough reason to want other people to have that feeling. I hope you appreciated this small uh, representation discussion. Leave your comments and thoughts below. Do you, have you felt represented? Have you not felt represented? What are some good experiences that you have had maybe we can find more of those in the hobby and maybe we can start to build a concept for what makes a good a good experience there so that was that was our episode today again thank you for swinging by as always this has been the hobby corner you've been hanging out with me your host your best friend your brother deck please like and subscribe if you can i'm desperate and i'll see you next time liberate the emperor by subscribing now only in death does subscribing end